Hey there YouTube, I want to make a quick little video to explain how this updraft carburetor on a tractor works. There we go, that's a bit better. Okay, so the way this filtration system works, this is a Farmall Super M by the way, the way this filtration system works is you have your air cleaner here and it goes down into this oil bath cleaner right here. And there's oil in there and it filters out any of the big stuff that didn't get up there. So, you have that and then it goes up down this pipe and into the carb. Well, the way that that carb works, we're going to turn on the fuel. The way that carb works is there's a vacuum in the motor, obviously, when you have compression. So it's pulling that fuel up into the manifold and up into the engine immediately. So we're going to get the fuel on here. And it's starting to leak, which means my fuel's on. So the air goes in here and up. It's kind of like an L inside the carburetor. And right down here at the bottom, it gets put into the cylinder. Well, not the cylinder, but it gets put into the airway from the float. If you know anything about how carburetors work, you know. So... I like, I personally like these gas engines because they start so much easier in the winter time. It's currently 40 degrees out and we're going to start this tractor up. So I put this on the tractor tonight. I'm going to see how it works out. It's just a disconnect switch and I have it connected up to the ground. So let's hop on the tractor and see how that switch works and see how good the tractor starts. Okay. So before I start it, I'd like to tell you about this right here. This is the choke lever. And when you pull out that choke lever, you're basically restricting airflow in the carburetor. There's a thing called a butterfly. And it looks like this when it's open, and it looks like this when it's closed. So that shuts off any air getting into the cylinder. So you have a really rich mixture of fuel. So it's 40 degrees. Let's see how good this tractor starts. <laughs> So that goes to show you how that works. I think it's a kind of a neat system. And this tractor is from 1952. So it's definitely outdated technology, but as you saw, she started right up. And that switch worked. So I'm real happy about that. That way I don't have to keep taking this connector off and dirtying up the connections on the battery. So as you heard, when the tractor started, it was kind of running a little rough, running surging. That's because it was a really rich mixture of fuel going into the carburetor. And when I pushed that choke lever back in, you heard that it leaned out immediately and the tractor started running even. So I just, I just want to make a little video on starting tractors in cold weather. So I appreciate you watching. <laughs> 